Hi, I'm Raul Barrera, and we're going to do a, um, a Unity tutorial to learn how to make a Windows Phone game. So first we want to open up Unity. Waiting for it to load up. Give it a second. It's loading. Okay, there we go. It's starting to load. Oh. Um, let's click Create New Project. We'll make it 2D. And we'll name it something simple like Game. Click Create. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Let's go to uh, the asset store. And in the asset store, we want. Here, hold on. We want to look for the free dungeon pack. Okay, there it is. So we click the open in Unity button and this takes us to Unity. Give it a minute. It's opening the uh, asset store in the Unity client or yeah. Okay, as we see now, it uh, finally opened in Unity. So we click Import. So now it's actually going to import all of these free packages that you can use to make your own game into uh, into our new project we created named uh, Game. Uh, we only want the images. So let's get rid of all the dungeon art packs and only click Images. Now we click Import. Okay, that should have imported it. All right. So let's there. We've got all these amazing pictures now. Okay. So now we'll click on assets again. We're going to make a uh, folder to keep everything organized. And we'll call one of them uh, sprites. Um, we'll create another folder. I name this one scripts. Okay. We'll create another folder. Name this one animations. Um, and we'll create one more folder. Whoops. We'll just delete that one. Create a new folder and name it Scenes. Okay. So we have our sprite scenes, scripts, animations, whatever. Uh, let's go back to images and select all of these images. Uh, just right click on one of them or left click and then hold the shift and click on the opposite one or the furthest away one and drag them all inside of your sprites folder now they're all inside of your sprites folder now uh, let's delete the dungeon art path folder we don't need this anymore okay sweet so now if we click on sprites we have all of this okay so now we imported all of our images into our unity project um right you can see it's in 2d if we select the skeleton image and then we go to uh, inspector, we can see that uh, we have all these features here. Well, we want to make it be a sprite 2D and UI. 
Uh, this will basically be our character, our characters, you know. Uh, they'll be the things that move around in your game. And the sprite mode. So you can see that these pictures like split up into tiny, well, there are a bunch of them that look almost the same. But see, what you want to do is click it to sprite mode be multiple so that you can uh, edit it and split up each of those little squares so that you get a fluid animation if you run one after the other. You know, it's kind of like a flip book. So we set the type to grid and I don't know, let's say x value be about 124 and y value be 84 and then we slice them as you can see the y value is not big enough see how it cuts off right there yeah let's make it be uh 94 click slice again um what does 95 look like oh no way definitely 94 okay see perfect you got our uh, <sighs> Image sliced or spliced up. We just click apply now, and let's set the max size to. As you can see, the image is not very big, so obviously the max size of this image is no greater than 512. So let's change it to 512. True color. We can make it be 16 bits without losing any, you know, any of the nice texture. Now you can see that you have each of these little squares are split up, or yeah, into a separate image. And you know you can make like a little flipbook animation now, okay? Uh, what? Oh 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 yeah yeah we want to apply that because we want to. It's basically saying like save changes. Okay. Now, see we're gonna do something nifty with this. It was just while I was making the tutorial I noticed that uh. I actually want my spider to start moving to the right. So I'm just going to rotate it so that we can start off with the spider space in, in the right direction. Perfect. All I did is I double clicked on the picture, popped up Windows Photo Viewer, and all I did was press the little rotate button. Okay. Now we can exit it. Perfect. Okay. So now we'll do the same thing that we did to the skeleton image. We'll make it go to uh, Sprite 2D multiple sprite editor and we're gonna slice this up as well let's make it be grid yeah perfect um let's make it be 94 by I don't know 84 how does that look oh almost a bit too big how about 84 by 84 eh, and we're getting closer uh 78 maybe Whoa, that is too small. Made it a little bigger. How about 82? Whoa. Oh, still too big. 81. Perfect. Okay. Want to apply. Uh, exit out of there. See here the true color. Make it 16 bits again. Doesn't lose too much of the color. You know, texture max size also make it smaller. The spider. Oh, and we want to apply. See, usually you hit apply right here, but. I keep forgetting to, but it's fine. Okay, so now we go to Sprite 2D. Uh, just single. Uh, this one's actually pretty small, so we can we'll be fine with making it 128, 16 bits, and apply. Okay, so you also have a bunch of spiders too. Okay, this here is a little tricky because the brick. It's actually kind of small. We want it to be at least three times as long. Just also something I found out like during the tutorial. So uh, it opened up in this. I'm gonna right click and select Open with Paint. Okay. Now I I opened it in Paint. Now what I want to do is select all of it. Like so. And control copy. Make this bigger over here. Oh jeez. Control C I'm not sure what that did. Expand this, you know, to get enough room. And make it longer still. 
and just a little bit longer. Whatever. Okay. And now we want to paste it and drag it over and make sure it's perfectly aligned. No. No, that's good enough, you know. Okay. Now it's twice as long, but we want to make it a little bit bigger still. So let's keep making it bigger. Uh It's a little tedious. That's not too bad. Click paste and drag it over. Once again, line it. And good enough. Hold that. Now let's shrink this so we don't have any white space. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, save it. File save as. We'll make this be our background. So let's just call it background. You know. Okay. So click save. Yeah, sure. It's fine. Uh, close this one as well. Now we wait for it. Okay, perfect. It loaded. Wow, it's looked at. It's already in there. Spread 2D. Yup. Single. Yup. Pivot center. Yup. Um. Uh oh. What happened there? It's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Oh. I right, see so what happened. I think. Actually, I'm not sure. Give me a second. Okay, it was actually fine. All I did was hit apply after after changing the max size to five uh twenty forty eight. The reason being that's the max size. As you can see, our size here is fifteen thirty six. So we want it to be big enough that we don't lose any um quality on the image okay so we have pretty much all our images set up now how we want now we can go to our scene and simply drag and drop the background oh before continuing go to hierarchy and select main camera in main camera we want to change the size of this to if you look at the picture its length component is 512. So every 100 pixels is equal to a unit. We want to change this or divide this number by 100 so we would get 5.12, right? Well, um, keep in mind that the camera is halfway in between our background. So we actually want half of that. So we want it to be 2.56. See, it covers all of our image now. Okay. Our background we want it to be positioned at positioned at zero zero. Okay, that's good. And uh we can actually start dragging our you know sprites into the background. So now we have a skeleton, a spider, and a spider web. Yeah, let's actually well let's just uh, Drag the spider over here and the skeleton right here. The position really doesn't matter because we're going to be changing it later. Just the background, keep in mind you want that one to be at zero, 00. Okay, if we click scene, this is how it'll look in our uh, in our game. Nothing's happening right now, obviously, because we haven't done anything. We just loaded the background. Okay, that completes this tutorial on how to set up your background. Um, next tutorial we'll learn some basic animation and yeah we'll see where we go from there.